it's Doris and today I'm going to show you how to make the Doris charm on any type of loom and it is very similar to making a triple single but it is in a charm form so let's get started. The things you will need are any type of loom, your pick tool, seven black rubber bands, seven blue rubber bands, and six pink rubber bands. You can use any color that you want. Arrows pointing away from you are this part right here facing towards you. You're going to use double rubber bands until I say not to. So take double rubber bands of the color that you have seven of, well, one of the colors, and stretch it from the first peg in the middle to the first peg on the left. And push it down because they're double rubber bands and they will get bunched up easily. So then take two more. And then stretch it from this peg to this peg, which is just one link up. Like so. And then you're going to take two more of your double rubber bands in that same color. And stretch it from this peg to the one directly above it to the right. So you should see kind of a C shape. Next, you're going to take double rubber bands of the color that you have six of which in my case is pink, and then you're going to stretch it from this middle peg to the one directly above it, and push it down, and then take two more, and stretch it out one more time, and push them down. Now you're going to take two more rubber bands, two more double rubber bands of well, two more rubber bands of the other color that you have seven of. Stretch them from the, this middle peg to the one directly to the right. And push it down. And then one time up with double rubber bands. And then one from this peg to this peg where all of them meet. And push them down. Now we're going to use the two rubber bands that we have as the same color in the middle. So you're going to take one of them and then make a triangle around these three pegs here. So you should see the triangle, but now you're going to stretch it out some more and then twist it so you can put it around the triangle once more. Oops. So you want to have a double triangle and if your rubber bands are not very stretchy then you can just do it once but it won't completely be as tight as the one I'm making and then just do that once more above it on the three pegs twist and then once more around so you should have this now, we're going to start looping. Actually, we're going to put a cat band on this peg right here. So just do it once. Like, make a figure eight with your fingers and then put it around. So you can see two rubber bands. And then put it around this one right here. So when you, so when you turn the loom around to start looping, it, you'll have a cat band so nothing will fall apart. After you have turned your loom around, you should see the cap band that we recently put on. So you're going to go into your cap band here and then grab the first the first two rubber bands that you see and then mine are the black ones. So you're going to kind of grab the black ones and then hold the cap band there and then loop it up to this peg here. Now we're going to go into this peg here, and then as you can see, there's the one at the bottom. You're gonna stretch, you're gonna put your, pe your pick tool here, and then go through all of them and grab the very bottom two, and then stretch them up once. Now you're going to go into this peg here, pull back the pink rubber band or the rubber band of the triangle, and then get the bottom two, and then loop them up to the middle up here and push them down because we have the other rows to go. So you're going to reach into the cap band once more 
and then get the color of the middle band. Sorry. Get the color of the middle band. Oops, I got one. And then stretch it up once to the one in the very middle of the, the whole creation. And then go into that peg. Then grab the bottom two. You probably can't see it, but I think you know what I mean. And then stretch them up to the very last one. Now you're going to go in this cap band once more and do the same thing you did here. Get the bottom two and stretch them to the right. Now go inside all of these bands here and grab the bottom two and go up one. Oops. Nope. Okay, there. Sorry about that. Now you're going to go into the peg here and pull back the one of the triangle and then get the bottom two and then loop it up to the middle one here. So now we're going to finish off the charm. So I have just angled the camera to the side so you can see the side view. And you're go we're gonna be working on this pin here. So you're gonna take all the rubber bands and kind of scrunch them together so they're all pretty close. And then take your pick tool and you're gonna wanna take put your tool like through all of these rubber bands here. So you can see your pick tool come out right there. And then it's, or if you don't get all the rubber bands on this pick tool, it will fall apart. So now you're gonna take your last rubber band, which in my case is black, and then you're gonna hook it onto the hook. And then you're gonna carefully, like so carefully, pull it through all the rubber bands and it should come out like this. And then put it back there. So it's kind of tricky. You might grab some rubber bands, but gladly I didn't. So now you're gonna use your finger and then put the rubber bands onto your finger, which is like, I'm just gonna use it as a pretend peg. So now as, oh dang it. Okay, so after some more trouble, I finally got it on my finger. And you're gonna pretend that your finger is another peg. So as you can see, there's the one that has that is at the very bottom, this one right here. You're gonna use your pick tool to grab it right here and then pull it over your finger, like pretend it's a peg. And then it should be like this. And um, I'm so sorry, I forgot. No, you know, you, I didn't mess up. Okay, so now you're gonna kinda tug it to tighten it because it's gonna really hold together everything. And this, if you don't know, is the charm string or charm band. So now we're gonna take it off the loom. So now we are done with this charm. I hope you can make this successfully and that you like it because this is really the only charm that I could that I think that I created. So thank you for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.